Do you know if having breakfast in a particular order reduces blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today was my first day at the hotel and I made my way to Isla, which is the place where they serve breakfast and I took a table next to the pool because the view was great. For this breakfast, I am having sugar and carbs first and then protein, fats and fiber. The highlight was definitely the freshly made prashant, I mean the croissant and that was my breakfast. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 37 mg increase. That's it? I thought that it'll be much higher than this, around 50 or 60 mg. Because in this breakfast, I first had a variety of fruits, a bowl of muesli and milk, a waffle with maple syrup and a croissant with butter. And in the past, when I've had such items on their own, my blood sugar levels went up much more. For example, when I had watermelon, my blood sugar levels had increased by 47 mg. And when I had two pieces of white bread toast with butter, my blood sugar levels had increased by 50 mg. And who can forget when I had muesli with milk because that had increased my blood sugar levels by 59 mg. But did you notice that it took 5 hours for my blood sugar levels to come back to normal? 5 hours. This is about double the time it normally takes for my blood sugar levels to come back to normal after a meal. Clearly what happened is that even though I had protein, fat and fiber towards the end of my meal, they came to the rescue because they took the entire glycemic load of the sugar and carbs and spread it out thereby preventing an immediate and a very high glucose spike. Let's see what happens in my next video, where I'll have the exact same breakfast, but this time I'll have the protein, fats and fiber first, and then I'll have the carbs and sugar. Also, one bonus learning. This graph clearly shows that if I have a big breakfast on a holiday, my blood sugar levels remain elevated for a very long time, in this case from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. And if I would have had lunch at 3, my blood sugar levels would have again shot up and come back down by around 7, 7.30. And then if I had dinner at 8, my blood sugar levels would have remained elevated till 11, which means that my blood sugar levels would have remained elevated throughout the day. Imagine that. This is exactly something that I'm looking to avoid, which is why in this case, if you see, I skipped lunch and straight away had dinner. 